shot clock with steam. Shot clock and game clock almost on the same tick. Ten. Eight for Stovall. Barton. And with three, it's Groff. Can't hit the bank shot. And uh, that will be the end of this first half. Singular at the half. Sponsored by Singular, the wireless company that supports self-expression nationwide. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our studios here in New York in a singular at the half. Greg Gumbel along with Clark Kellogg. We are at halftime of the game in Greenville where uh, Oklahoma State trails Kent State by a score of 36-27. What's going on here? Well, Kent State got off to the good start. Their defense has been solid, and then they've got an offense from everybody. You take a look at Trevor Huffman. You talked about him a little while ago. He's having a very efficient first half. John Zane, despite a lot of turnovers for Oklahoma State, when they do take care of it, they've been able to score. Kent took charge in this game on a 15-2 run in the first Staff and they lead it at the break by a score of 36 to 27. Meanwhile, in St. Louis, first round action in the East Bracket at halftime. Kentucky leads Valparaiso 41 to 23. Jules Camara to Chuck Hayes cutting down the lane for the layup, and the Wildcats were up too early on. It's been all Kentucky all the time, but Lubos Barton for Valparaiso finds graphs inside. It was tied at four. Then Tayshawn Prince penetrating, dropping a dime to Kamara for the throwdown. And then Keith Bogans going to find Tayshawn Prince behind the defense. Kentucky was up 10-6. Bogans has had an outstanding first half. He'll hit an open three. He has 10 points so far. And the Wildcats with a 41-23 lead on the Crusaders at halftime. First round action in the West Bracket in Albuquerque. Missouri and Miami had just over five and a half to play in the first half. Missouri with the lead on the Hurricanes. Let's take you to Albuquerque live to the pit. Gus Johnson and Dan Bonner calling the action. Thirty-two twenty-three, Missouri with the lead over Miami and Mizzou getting out to a 12-0 run to start the game. They've led by as many as 14 but it seems as if Miami is starting to settle down a bit. Miami seems to be every once in a while but the Hurricanes the story of this game for them thus far is they have had a few possessions where they've been a little lackadaisical. Only eight field goals for Miami eight of 23 34 percent. Loose ball inside and a foul has been called against Miami. And this will go against Coelho as we take a look at the game summary. 44% shooting for the Tigers, 36% shoot, shooting for Miami. And the key for the Tigers, as they told us, is to keep the Hurricanes off the offensive glass. They've done a nice job at that, but with some Miami cooperation, the Hurricanes have been a little bit impatient on offense. And when you're impatient, it's hard to get in position for offensive rebounds. And Arthur Johnson spinning. And is called for the foul as we take a look at the bracket here in the West. Miami, Missouri, followed by Ohio State and Davidson. And then later it will be Gonzaga, Wyoming, Arizona versus the Gauchos from Santa Barbara. Point in the game here with 450 remaining in the half for Miami to get settled. A bit here in New York. Two games at halftime, one in progress. We'll get you caught. Jeffrey Ferguson has checked into the game. Number 32 in black, a freshman from Toronto. Foul up top. Just not very many easy opportunities so far for Miami. The Hurricanes, as we mentioned, one pass, two passes at the most, and then a shot. And as a result, the Missouri defense has been able to contest most of the shot opportunities for Miami. And how about this? Would it be a first if the Miami baseball team who won a national championship and the football team who won a national championship <laughs> followed it up with the basketball team winning a national championship? I know it's a long shot, but I'm sure Barry Clark has considered it. Barry Clark certainly has considered it, although he knows that to get out of this particular bracket in the West region would be a, an amazing feat for his fifth seeded Hurricanes. Stokes getting the next. Free throw to go down, 34 to 23. 424 to play in the first half. Missouri seated number 12 here in the West Bracket. As led by as many as 14 over the Miami Hurricanes, seated fifth. Rice on the baseline draws the foul. 
Missouri out of the Big 12 Conference, Miami out of the Big East Conference. As Trayvon Bryant may have been poked in the eye. I think he caught the elbow of Darius Rice. Rice takes a tough shot, and this has been symptomatic for Miami. They take a tough shot, but this time they get the offensive rebound, and Darius Rice breaks that elbow down on Trayvon Bryant's forehead. Rice off to a slow start, one of five from the field. He has four points, make it five now, along with three rebounds. Missouri has forced Miami again into some impatience on offense, and as a result, Miami hadn't been able to get to the offensive boards the way they normally do. 78% free throw shooter gets the second one to fall, 34 to 25. Hurricanes trying to cut into that Missouri lead, Paulding on the baseline, elevates and hits it over the outstretched arm of Tyler. We talked about his ability to elevate. <laughs> he really got up in the air. This is a Missouri team that's playing very efficiently. Kareem Rush has not had a big first half. He's only one for four shooting. Miami turns it over. Frisbee. Now here comes Stokes. Hard down the lane. Steps back. And the Tigers reset it. Miami back in the man-to-man -man defense. They've tried a couple of different defensive looks, but it hasn't really slowed the Missouri Tigers. Stokes down the lane, shovels it. Jeffrey Ferguson can't get the first one to go, gets his own rebound. And James Jones comes up with the board. So Missouri in the lead by 11 as they approach three minutes to play in the first half between Missouri and Miami. I want to remind you, the wave of games still to come. Speaking of the wave, Pepperdine is taking on Wake Forest. And a bit later, Florida Atlantic will meet number two seed Alabama, Tulsa, and Marquette. And in the West, it'll be Davidson against Ohio State. And a bit later on, it'll be Montana against number two Oregon in the Midwest bracket. That'll do it for now. We thank you for joining us on Singular at the Half. We'll send you back to Greenville for the second half right after this. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half. Sponsored by Singular, the wireless company that supports self-expression nationwide. Missouri by 11 with 3.07 to play in the first half. Coming up on Singular at the half, Greg Gumbel and Clark Kellogg will get you updated on all the tournament news, all the scores and highlights, plus a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament. That's all coming up on Singular at the half. 36-25, three minutes to go in the first half of play. Missouri. James Jones pulls up. That one halfway down. Frisbee with the rebound and the stick back. And there's the offensive rebounding we've been talking about. And finally, it comes into play. It's only the third offensive rebound for Miami, but the first one they've been able to convert. Gilbert, one dribble, rise and fire, and it's short. Rice with the rebound. Miami looking for a little spurt now. Barnes into the front court. That one deflected. Last touch by the Tigers. Back to Albuquerque right after this. Thirty-six twenty-seven, Missouri leading here in the first half of play. This Monday, CBS presents the birth of a new comedy. When Baby Bob opens his mouth, you won't believe what you hear. Catch the premiere of Baby Bob Monday after the King of Queens here on CBS. Miami with the basketball. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Hurricanes turning it over on the inbound play. The hurt is turnover number. Let's see. Seven for Miami. Missouri just overpowering Miami at this point in the game. That was another perfect example. Gage just outbattled the Hurricanes inside guys for that ball. Rush, who's been quiet in the first half, averages 20 a game, pivots, fires. That one comes out loose. Barnes grabs it on the rebound, throws an elbow in the process. 
So Miami continues to search for the key. Missouri is leading it by a score of 36 to 27 as they approach two minutes to play in the half. Meanwhile, in Greenville, South Carolina, they're about to get underway in the second half. Kent State with the lead on Oklahoma State. Demetric Shaw, three-pointer. The Golden Flashes are up three. Shaw, nine points in the first half. He got some help. Andrew Mitchell on a drive in. Tough little layup there. Part of a 12-0 run. The Flashes were up by five. And then here it is, Mitchell finding Eric Thomas for the 3 16 6 Golden Flash. And Trevor Huffman, what a nice little jump shot he shows. He hits the three here, three of his 10 in the first half. Kent State with the lead at the break, 36 to 27. Remind you of the next round of games coming your way here on CBS today. 10th seed Pepperdine in the Midwest will take on number seven week Forest in the South. Florida Atlantic against second seed Alabama in the East. Tulsa will take on number five Marquette. And out West, it'll be Davidson against the fourth seed Ohio State. We think you for joining us here on Singular at the Half. We'll get you back to St. Louis for the second half of your game right after this. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, the wireless company that supports self-expression nationwide. And the shooting so far, Rice, Barnes, and Jones, 4 of 17. The rest of the team, 50%. Foul inside, Rice looking to free himself, and he is tripped up. And the one thing Missouri doesn't want to do is allow Miami to get to the free throw line. The Hurricanes, an excellent free throw shooting team, coming in better than 77% from my, excuse me, right at 77% from the line. Quinn Snyder knows with as well as his guys are guarding, they don't want to commit fouls. <laughs> well, that's one way to handle it. Just trip the guys. He's coming through. Second foul on Bryant as Rice gets the first one to go. And Solomon Wilcox talked about some of his off the court endeavors. And he, in the seventh and eighth grade, was the state chess champion in Mississippi. As he misses the second, trying to form a chess club on the campus at Miami right now. But Miami, 9 of 11 from the free throw line. That's what's allowed them to stay in the game, and the lead is down to six. And even though Miami, if you look up and you see, you think that Missouri ought to be way ahead in the game because Miami really has struggled. The Hurricanes, you're right. They've got it down to a six-point game. Now Stokes, Miami. Some kind of trick defense. Stokes guarded by Rice to Gilbert down the lane. Finds Eccles, who lays it up and in. Najib Eccles. A freshman from Chicago with nice hands. And the Missouri Tigers go up by eight. Rice is all alone begging for the ball. Pull up three off the back of the rim. Loose ball. Frisbee somehow gets the offensive rebound. New shot clock for the Hurricanes. Miami starting to get those offensive rebounds. They haven't been able to convert very many of them. That's now seven offensive rebounds in the game for Miami. Let's see if they can get a conversion here. A lot of two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Jones deep in the corner, short. Frisbee going over the back and draws the foul. So William Frisbee, the sophomore from Bay Shore, New York, called for the foul, and Missouri now heads the other way to shoot free throws. Frisbee, an interesting story. He got stopped on the streets of New York City six years ago by somebody who said that they wanted him to be a model. And so when he returned, the person gave him her card. When he called her back, he actually has been a model. This is not, that's Frisbee, not Ferguson. <laughs> Ferguson's the guy at the line. As Frisbee comes up with the rebound. Modeling pretty good rebounding style right there. Now Barnes will play for one shot. Six seconds to go. Here's the high pick and roll. Pulls up from way downtown. It's short. Echoes with the good block out. And that is the end of the first half of play. With the score, Missouri 38, Miami 30. So after leading by as many as 14, Miami cuts into that Missouri lead. And they started doing a better job, the Hurricanes, of going after the ball on the offensive glass. That is their strength. Didn't expect Missouri, or excuse me, Miami to just roll over and die. Miami's a team that has a history of coming back from double-digit deficits, and so the Hurricanes know they just keep playing. Pretty impressive. They're down by eight, even though they've only shot 31%. All right, Solomon, that's the end of the first half with the score, 38-30 Missouri. 
CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station.